When it comes to fatherly wisdom, there's nothing quite like an 80s TV dad. Daddy, how do you know all this stuff? Well, I'm your dad, so I know everything. And when I don't know, I make up. And of all the dads, there's been none as memorable as Bob Saget. It's not your fault. Daddy didn't explain it right. I was a bad boy. Go to your room. After years of playing Danny Tanner in Full House and hosting America's Funniest Home Videos, Bob was considered the king of G-rated TV, a role he's worked hard to shake off. Since his return to stand-up, we've seen the real Bob Saget, the edgy comedian with a rather filthy sense of humour. By the way, I want to start by apologising for the way that I speak. It is, again, it is shock value. It is a persona from all that family shit that I did. He hasn't left TV behind, though. He's even parodied himself in scene-stealing cameos for HBO's Entourage. Who do you think's more recognisable, you or me? Seriously. Uh... <laughs> so get ready to raise your classification ratings. He's bringing that sense of humour to our shores in May for his very first Australian tour. And he's still dishing out the wisdom, albeit of a different kind. This guy sucks almost as bad as that guy on Full House. Yes! Please welcome Bob Saget! Now, Bob, I'm a massive fan of your stand-up. We've seen a lot of the clips on YouTube. And it's safe to say if people are expecting wholesome fun, they're in for quite a shock. Yeah, I think so. I mean, what's weird is I was doing stand-up before I ever got on Full House or that America's Funniest Videos blooper family clip show that I hosted and co-wrote. So I'm sorry about all those people getting hit in the nads jokes that I did. So it was eight years between the two shows of familyness. So I kind of was always whirring out to do stand-up. And my stand-up is a little more adult. Hey, Bob, Full House was an enormous global success. Why? I actually... Um, there was a, a lot of, this is not cynical or being uh, snarky, it was a, there was a lot of love uh, between the characters. I love the fact that I did a, a really fun family show that a lot of people loved. And I'm close with everybody on the show. Stamos and I are a little too close. Uh, Dave Collier has a flatulence problem. And I did a benefit a couple weeks ago in New York and Ashley Olsen came and Mary Kate, they, they donate a lot of stuff to this benefit I do for scleroderma because I, I lost a sister to that. So the cast became family to me. They, they are, we're still very close with each other, which is just the truth. Now, a lot of people thought that your character, Danny Tanner, was gay. You even wrote a song about it. Was he or wasn't he? Well, he lived in a house with two guys in San Francisco and he <laughs> dust busted a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> and anyone who hangs around John Stamos for long enough would probably end up gay, wouldn't they? Well, no. <laughs> but, um, John and I, John and I are, are really, we're, I can't do, I was going to do a head gesture and I'm not doing it. But uh, John and I, if you look on, um, on the YouTube or you look on, online, there's a thing called Project Cuddle. There's a video we made together where he wanted to give instructions on cuddling. We just did this a year ago and we're cuddling in bed and I was miserable. I wore black sweats the whole time. And he illustrates how you cuddle with basically a woman, but he uses me as his example. So I think you're not far off. I'm fighting it. I'm not, I'm not letting him in. I've got yellow crime scene tape wrapped around my loins. Nobody's, nobody's going in there. Um, one of my favourite appearances of yours recently was on Entourage, portraying yourself uh, as a dope-smoking divorced man with a fondness for prostitutes. Are you going to be in the movie? I don't know. I don't know. I, I know they're writing it right now, and I know they're my friends. That's all I know. You'll find out probably on Twitter before I will. I'm really excited to, to, to come to Australia. Like, I'm stupidly excited. Like, I, I can levitate. This, there's a table under me. Look how excited I am. I don't... It's not product placement. I'm really excited. I have this. No product placement. I got, I got water. I can make paper mache. That's what I can do right now. Thank you. That was, that was a lot of fun. Thank you for uh, having me. Hey.